God's power is making your intentions and your movements unreadable to the enemy in this hour. Hello, Light Warrior. It's Bella Bashan here. Just want to say a quick thanks to new subscribers, OG subscribers. I just appreciate all your support so much. And just want to give a quick heads up about fake accounts in the comment section. So please be careful about that as well. But this, this um, message that I have for you is that there are people in your life who are being used by the enemy and they cannot understand how their plans and information keeps getting leaked to you. You always seem to be one step ahead and it is because God's hedge of protection is around you making your movements and intentions blind to the enemy and so maybe you have you know somebody who has been a, a narcissist in your life whether it's a boss a, a co-worker a family member a community member whoever it may be you know narcissists often move with manipulative and calculating tactics often to to get what they want out of you and ultimately hurt you. And again, often being used by the enemy as a distraction to slow you down from God's plan. But when you pray, this, this story illustrates how God's power can make someone's intentions and movements unreadable to the enemy. So this story is found in 2 Kings verses 6, 8 through 23. And this is a story where that involves the prophet Elisha and the king of Aram. And Elisha would repeatedly warn the king of Israel about the plans of the king of Aram, causing frustration for the king of Aram as he could not understand how the information was being leaked. So maybe you are getting your information from a prophetic voice on YouTube or you maybe you're getting a heads up through your minister at church. Or maybe you've just been spending time in the secret place with God, like Elisha. Maybe you can just accurately hear the word of God clearly, and God is letting you know. And, you know, the king, um, those, those, the king of Aram could not understand how this, how Elisha was getting this information, just like the narcissist in your life or you know whoever the enemy is currently using whether it's gang stalkers or maybe it's just you god tells you to stay home that day and you hear that and it, it helps to keep you protected in in some type of way so the enemy again the enemy cannot understand how you're receiving this information and Again, a lot of it is because it's the power of your prayer, the power of God moving on your behalf. And so one day the king of Aram sent a great army to capture Elisha. And when Elisha's servant saw the army, he was afraid. But Elisha prayed that his servant's eyes would be opened. And afterward, the servant saw the hills filled with, with horses and chariots of fire around Elisha, representing God's protection. So you have, you know, you have these, the fire of the Holy Ghost surrounding you and protecting you right now from whatever plans the enemy has been trying to pursue you or to, to whatever the enemy has been trying to do, God has got a hedge of protection around you. And so then, Elisha prayed to God to strike the enemy's army with blindness, and God did so. So, Heavenly Father, we just lift, we just, we just pray to you today that the enemy's army be struck with blindness in Jesus' name, that they would not be able to see 
or read our intentions, God, that, that we would always be 10 steps ahead. In Jesus' name, we thank you. And then God did so. Despite being physically present, the enemy was effectively made blind to Elisha's location. Then, Elisha led all the soldiers back. That he, their blindness was restored, and he he uh, prepared a feast for them, and then sent them back to the king. And after this, the king of Aram stopped making raids into Israelite territory. So basically. It just confused the heck out of the enemy. First, first they went blind. Then they were led to safety, well-fed, and sent back. So I really feel like this says a lot about how you are treating this person. There's no ill intentions. It's really only for your protection. And then allowing God to handle the enemy's camp, how God would handle it. Elisha sent them back well fed and i think again that's part of the thing that really confused king aram king aram or the enemy but after that the king aram did not bother them anymore and so whoever this is you're really confusing the enemy's camp they're they're just like they've, they've gone blind to your to your plans and at the same time you're being kind to them and so it's really a mind F for the enemy. And whoever this person is, whoever this, this person has been for you, whoever has the enemy has been using, this person is going to be so frustrated by the fact that they, by the, by the fact that they cannot understand how their plans are getting leaked back to you. They're blind to to how to move in this situation and at the same time you're really not being mean you may be you know being as kind as you can be to whomever this is and so that is why the enemy is so dumbfounded and cannot understand how their plans keep getting leaked to you this again is illustrates how god's power can make someone's intentions and movements unreadable to the enemy as well as the importance of relying on God's protection and guidance so we just thank you God for your protection and guidance and for making the enemy blind to our intentions and movements in Jesus' name thank you for the hedge of protection around us and for moving us forward to our next step safely we thank you I love you. I hope this word brought you some encouragement to your spirit, some sort of confirmation that the enemy cannot understand how you're doing what you're doing and how you know what you know. Give it a thumbs up if it resonated. Subscribe to see more videos and I'll talk to you again later. God bless you.